conflict in marriages. For women who are poorer than men in divorce, in retirement, and in maturity, this is a big problem. So joining me is Kim Kiyosaki. She's the author of It's Rising Time. Kim, we don't have a lot of time, so let's get to it. What are women not doing that makes them more at risk than men? Well, I think so many of us women haven't been educated to take care of ourselves financially. We've actually been taught to depend upon somebody else, be it a husband or a family member or a boss. So right now, given these economic times, it's so important that women really step up, rise up, and do what needs to be done to take care of themselves financially. All right, you talk about calculating your ideal wealth number and how long you can survive financially. What does all of that mean? Well, what that means, this is, the, this is the question most people never ask themselves. And the question is this, if you stopped working today or you and your spouse stopped working today, how long could you survive financially? Most people never make that calculation. And so when a wake-up call happens, when they lose a job or they get a foreclosure on their house, they are in um, deer in headlights and they don't know how to handle it. The, for most people, they can only survive three months or less. Wow. But if you understand what that number is for you, then you can move forward and figure out what do I need to do in order to be able to survive and have financial security for life. I think sometimes we get, um, I don't know, so, so afraid of what to do that we don't know what that yeah. first step should be. And we're so frightened we don't want to take it. So what do you suggest right. that first step be? Well, the first step comes with financial education, and I would say this, especially to the women watching, is to do something every single day, whether it's 10 or 15 minutes a day, that gets you closer to your financial goal. Learn something new about money every day, from watching TV shows like this, from reading a book, from going online. Learn a vocabulary word every day. Do something, because a lot of the conventional wisdom says live below your means, and I think live below your means keeps you poor, and it kills your spirit. It yeah. does not inspire. Instead, I say, how do you live, how do you expand your means? Take that $100 and how do you turn it into $200? That's the key. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we need to learn more about this. We want to thank you and Plata Publishing for today's Satellite Time.